type casting or type conversion we shall see a program for type casting the problem statement is to understand type casting or type conversion type casting or type conversion hash include is tdio.h int main so within this i'm writing a variable int value equal to 10 and i'm initializing one character ch equal to a now i'm trying to implement implicit type conversion this is implicit type conversion that is val equal to val plus ch if we can look this instruction closely val is an integer type ch is a character data type now i'm trying to add these two so what would be the output of this particular instruction so generally you may expect that like it is like 10a no so what would be the output of this is it will be 10 plus the ascii value of a is 97 so you'll be getting 107 as an output so the ascii value of a every one of you has know that is 97 next here i am trying to print this value printf the value equal to so i am taking it as percentile d because i have initialized as integer val return 0 so this is for implicit type conversion where your compiler is taking care in converting it the val equal to the val equal to 107 that is 10 plus 97 so implicitly it is converting this character into the ascii value that ascii value is added with a value and then we are printing this val this is how the implicit type conversion is done between int and char data type for example so this is how the type casting will be done and the value will be 107 here the value of a that is uh, in the ascii code a ascii value is 97 so 97 adding with 10 you will get 107 so this is how type casting is done between integer and character now let me take one more example float val 2 equal to i'll take val plus now if i am considering the value as 1.000 now let me print the value of printf
val2 value 2 equal to percentile f slash n this result is stored in val2 so val2 is 108 so this val is updated with 107 plus 107 plus 1 1.0 this is added and we are going to get it as 108 so this is how x whatever the value we are trying to store that is implicitly converted to float the value of val is implicitly converting into float and you are going to get the result so this is how implicit type conversion is executed. Now the second example we shall understand how to implement explicit type conversion. So I am going to take the explicit type conversion here, explicit type conversion. So in order to use this explicit type conversion, I am using another identifier. Let me take another identifier name as double x equal to 1.2 next int sum equal to int of int of x plus 10 now I am going to print the value of sum sum equal to so the data type for sum is percentile d format specifier is percentile d here I am printing sum value let me execute this code Here, whatever we have enclosed within this parenthesis or the brackets, this is called as type conversion. This is called typecast, converting the double data type into integer data type, converting double data type into integer data type. So this is how the explicit type conversion is being executed. The value of x is 1.2 and this 1.2 converting into integer that will become 1. So 1 plus 10 the result is 11 that is what we got here over here. So this is how typecasting is been executed and the advantage of this typecasting is there are some features which are been according to the hierarchy of the type of the representation. It also helps us to compute the expressions containing variables of different data types. You can take a variable of different data type and convert according to the user requirement. So this is the use of typecasting or type conversion. Thank you.